What's going on everybody, it's Steven here, and today we're going to be taking a look at SHR's Real vs. Fake. Can you tell the difference? So in my quest to get authentic SH figure arts for cheap on eBay, I started coming across a lot of fake figures and I figured, you know what, I think I might get one just to see what the big difference is other than the price. Now if you can't tell already, this is the real one and this is the fake one. Uh, we're going to start talking about what exactly makes them so different other than price and see if quality even holds up against each other. Uh, starting off, we're going to take a look at the bottom corners here. We see the Tamashi Nations and the Bandai logo here. Whereas we look over here, and it's been blurred out. Other than that, the outside is pretty much almost the same. The only big differences are they're missing logos. And one thing I did notice was that on the fake box, they actually have the Naruto Shippuden logo imprinted onto the box. Whereas the authentic one it's actually a sticker. Now on most um, SH figure arts they actually do embed them or um, they do imprint them onto their boxes but for whatever reason on Naruto ones I've noticed that even on other ones just like this one here you'll see that it's actually just a sticker. So here on Naruto ones specifically you'll see that they have stickers and this one is embedded or imprinted uh, but that's not always a, a dead giveaway one thing you can also note is that the original one has better artwork, though they are the same. Once you start to kind of hold them and look at them, you look at the fake ones and you start to see that it's actually kind of like faded. All around the box, even the name here, Itachi, is a little more faded. And again, you can tell that the fake one is missing the SH Figure Arts logo. And the box just isn't as nice looking. On the back, we're going to take a look on something very critical here. Now, you see on the original one, the real one, we've got this Bluefin Distributions logo. Now, Bluefin, they're actually responsible for large distributions of Gundams and SH Figure Arts specifically. So if you have a figure or a box that's missing that Bluefin logo, you'll know right away that it's, it's not an official one and that it's fake. Again, on some of these uh, other ones that I have here, You'll see a Bluefin logo here, and a Bluefin logo here. That's how you know that these are official and distributed from a trusted resource. Whereas these here, they're, they're missing it all. Uh, again, also, they take the, uh, the original photo, they print it on, but it, it, there's just like a faded look to it. It doesn't look very nicely at all. You'll also see right here that it, it just says straight up that it's made in China here, whereas the real one doesn't have that. Other than that, everything is pretty much an exact copy. The photo is very accurate, but again, if you look in the upper corner, it's just missing very key components that's not too hard to find. Bottom is pretty much the same. And then again, up top, SH Figure Arts has done a pretty good job putting their logo all over the place. You'll see that it's right here on top of the box, and this isn't or this is actually, this is printed onto the box here. Whereas this one, the fake one, does not have it at all. Other than that, one thing that I did notice about the packaging, the packaging on this actually was very impressive for something that I, I knew was going to be fake. It came straight from China. It took me a month to get, but I thought it would be worth it for a video for you guys to, to show you the big differences. Uh, one big difference I noticed just by looking at him was one, that he's missing his hand. It, it's actually in there, it just fell off somewhere in the box, whereas on the original one, kind of sticks in better. One thing I did notice was that they have this plastic film, I don't know if you can tell, but it's all over the entire figure from top to bottom. On original ones, they actually just put them on like key places like the waist or uh, the neck or something like that. They don't put it all over the place. That way, if you want to keep it in the box, just to show it off, uh, you can do that. But on this one, you would actually have to open it up to get anyone to just kind of notice it and look at it and appreciate it. So we're going to take a look on inside the box and actually like hold the figure and see what the differences are. 
Now, before I get started, I do want to say that the fake one that I got on eBay was $26 after shipping. I think it was like $14 and then shipping and handling came out to like $25, $26. Whereas the authentic one cost me about $60, but now Itachi's worth around $120. I do have his YouTube video up, so if you haven't seen it, go ahead and check that out. Uh, this one also does come with a little pamphlet. just kind of tells you what it comes with. And that's something that you'll only get with the authentic one, whereas if you get the fake one, it's just the fake one. So I'm going to open them up side by side. And again, like I said earlier, the authentic one does not come with this piece of plastic here. This is something that you just kind of threw in. Now right away from a distance it might actually look like they are the ex exact same thing but I can already tell you that up close there are some key differences. Since this one is opened up it is missing a few things um, but I can already tell you that this piece of tape right here that's holding down the faces it was not here on the authentic one. It's also missing the hand, well the hand's right here, it's looking pretty bad. The coat is a little more flimsy than this one. It's actually a lot more flimsy and it's missing the uh, the red lining that this one has. I'll get that up close. But yeah, there's a lot more tape than, than there should be. There's too much. There's actually no tape on authentic ones. Uh, on these fake ones, you'll see that there's tape on the inside. Okay, so first impression, uh, looking at the figures side by side, I can already tell that there's a height difference. For whatever reason, the fake one is actually taller than the real one by... A few millimeters, but it is noticeable. Uh, the feeling of them on the cloak is pretty noticeable too. The fake one, it's a lot more, uh, I don't know, like bendable, I guess. It's a lot softer. They're, the hand also comes out a lot easier. And on the inside of the cloak is this white part right here. Uh, it's like supposed to be his arm. But on the original one, it's not there. When you move the hand, it's just a piece of red that's actually connected to the cloak, whereas the fake one, it's kind of glued in there. There's also some details in the head as well. Uh, the fake one, the lines, they're not as crisp as the authentic one. Uh, that's to be expected. But where this thing really stands out to me, I'm going to go ahead and take the cloak off. Where it really stands out to me are the legs. So the fake one, for whatever reason, the joints are very, um, let's try to get that focused. So on the fake one, you can see the joints are a lot longer, and I think this is why he's so much taller. You also look at the back of the real one, and it just seems a lot more put together than the fake one. The fake one's up top, you can also see their legs. For whatever reason, again, on the fake one, they're so bent. Like, what the f*** is this? It's so bad looking. But it's to be expected on a fake. Also, the, the bending of like the feet and the joints as well on the fake one, they're a lot more loose. They feel like they're going to fall off. What I am impressed about the uh, the fake one, though, is the paint job isn't too far off. Uh, on some parts, it's very accurate, but if you look at the chest here, you'll see that the top half is actually a different color than the bottom half. Now, that's just specific to this figure. However, I'm pretty sure that all of their SH figure arts that are counterfeit will have this same issue where the paint is just a little bit off. You can see that perfectly right there. Whereas the real one, you can see, it's a lot more fluid. And even if it is a little bit, like, discolored, like, I guess this one in the light makes it look like it is a two-tone color. But up close, it's actually not. In person, it's not. You can kind of see it right there. Up close on his face, on the fake one, the face is actually not too bad. The detail is, it's kind of there, but there's some, you have to really look in focus, and you'll see that 
it's actually not as accurate as this one. Uh, even the skin color is a little bit off. On this one, everything just kind of looks a little bit more crisp. All the, the fine details, like even in the headband on the real one, they just look a lot nicer and a lot more accurate than that on the fake one. The fake one just kind of looks, it's not bad, but it just looks off. Same thing with this necklace too. On the real one, the necklace, the lines are a lot more clean, a lot more straight, a lot more refined. Whereas the fake one, it looks it, it looks fine from far away, but when you start to get up close, you kind of start to see the flaws in it. One other thing I did notice when looking at this figure was that the joints, they squeak. And also, if you look on the side, you can actually see a little piece of metal right there. Whereas on the authentic ones, everything is usually very well hidden. And everything, all the joints are very crisp, they're very precise, and they, they feel, I feel confident that when I, I, I bend his leg that it's not gonna fall off, whereas this one just feels very flimsy. It feels like it's it's broken. So on this one, I'm gonna try to uh, change faces on this guy, and I'm gonna see how easy it is compared to the real one. So this is the fake one. On Itachi, you usually just pull the face off here. This one's actually pretty difficult. It actually feels like it's glued on. Yeah, you can kind of see that up top, it does not want to come loose. Let's see how long it takes me to get this off. Okay, so you actually had to pull pretty hard, but it is actually the same thing where there's just kind of like two little nubs in the back that you pull out, and then Itachi's face kind of just rests like that. Same deal, just pull it off and switch. But on the, the, the real one, it's so much easier to just remove things and again even the 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 detail and the hair I'm not sure if I'll be able to pull it up enough for you guys to notice but on the real one which is this one it just looks a lot more refined than this one the colors a lot nicer it's a lot darker the paint job is done better and the plastic is also higher in quality and here's the face of the fake one not sure if you can tell but there are some there are some smudges on the face from the headband, it kind of smudges down. Not sure if you'll be able to see it, but it is there. I'm actually a little bit impressed with this face in particular. Uh, the ones I saw online, it looked like he had like eyeshadow or eyeliner. They were just really heavy, and the paint job just around the eyes was was really bad. On some fake figures that I saw online, it got it got even worse. So side by side, this is the fake one. This is the real one. Again, you can kind of see that the real one is a little more, I guess, pale in comparison. But again, when you start to look closely, you'll see that the paint job around the mouth, let's see if we can get that, is just not as good. It looks like he's actually got like blood around his lips because the paint job is just that bad. Other than that, it's actually pretty sturdy. It feels just like... It feels almost like the, the real one, but the real one just has like a, it just has like a different, more premium feel in comparison. And again, the paint job is just done a lot better. You can see like they painted the top here to match the headband, whereas on the fake one here, they did the headband, but they didn't paint the top. So they left the top unpainted on the fake one. And that's another way you can tell that it's a fake. So again, on these faces here, the skin color is different, but like I was saying, on some of them, it just looks like they have some sort of eyeliner. This is one of them. You can see that the, the fake one here, the lines are so much heavier than that on this one. This one's a little more detailed. The lines are a lot thinner, but they're, they're more accurate. Whereas this one, they just look like smudges. And again, this one, they tried to paint the top, but it's a little more faded. This one is a, a solid coloration here. So again, it just comes down to, to detail on these, that you can just tell it's, it's a world of a difference and it does make you start to appreciate the authentic ones and you start to kind of understand why they price it the way they do in comparison to these counterfeits. And last face here, almost similar again, but on this one, the headband does not have up top. It doesn't have the same amount of silver as this one. This one's actually like faded. And again, it's just more poorly done. So here on these arms, the the real one is right here, the fake one's right here. 
you can kind of see the difference in skin tones. It looks like on the fake ones that they kind of use like just a, a regular flesh toned plastic to make it. Whereas this one, it looks like they, they kind of, it feels almost like they painted over it, whatever they used. Uh, on the fake one again, you can see up close that there are like pieces of metal sticking out right there. This one bends a little more smooth. It's a little more quiet. But even again, when it's bent, you just start to see these, these little pieces of metal sticking out where the joints are at. Whereas on the authentic one, everything's a lot more, I guess, tight knit, I guess. I'm not really sure how to word it, but everything's more put together, everything's more hidden, the bending's a lot more smooth, and it just feels like it's, you know, a lot stronger than the fake one, whereas the fake one just feels like you can accidentally, you know, snap this arm backwards. Another big difference are the arm joints. So the real one uses the socket here on the arm, whereas the fake one it actually has the the ball joint attached to it you can see right there so the fake one has this ball joint whereas the real one is a socket so this is the fake hand right here you can, you'll see up close in, in comparison when you look at the real and the fake one this fake one the fingers are so chunky in comparison and the nail polish is done a lot more poorly then it's done on the real one. This is the real one right here. So the fingers on this one, they're a little bit more thinner. The fingernails are painted a lot more accurately. And the fingers also, they're a lot stronger. They don't feel so bendable in comparison to the fake one, where the fake one, they feel like they might just like snap off again. That seems to be a, an issue in quality with these fake ones. But again, they're fake. Let's see if we can get that. And again, the paint color is just so much different as well. <clears throat> so all in all, again, how to tell the big difference. Um, when you're shopping online, if the price is too good to be true, and it's a brand new item, that's already a red flag to me. Uh, you know, you're not going to get any SH figure arts for like under $40 to $50 nowadays. I think most of them are priced around $60. Uh, so if you see one like this priced at $25 or even $15, I mean, that should already be a red flag. You're smarter than that. Um, when you're looking at eBay ads too, they tend to use on the fake ones, they like to use stock photos a lot. And on the real ones, they actually take a picture of the box and sometimes if it's used, they'll take the figure out of the box and show you exactly what you're getting. And again, always look for this figure or this, uh, this uh, Tamashii Nations and this Bandai logo right here in the bottom corner. Those are also dead giveaways because the fake ones just don't have that. They have it blurred out. Like it's literally blacked out right where it should be. Um, if you're at a Comic Con, because even Comic Cons, you'll you'll see that there's actually a lot more fakes than you think at, at Comic Cons, especially for Nendroids. But on these, when you're looking at the box, always look for this Bluefin logo. That's I probably can't stress that enough. Is that this Bluefin logo is probably what will save you the most. That's how you'll know. And again, on these fake ones, at least this one in particular, even the box just feels kind of flimsy in comparison to this one. It's also not as colorful. But again, all counterfeits are different, so if you do come across a counterfeit that just so happens to have these, always look for that Bluefin logo on the back. That'll tell you that it's a, by a, an official distributor. And so that, that'll also just kind of be a peace of mind kind of thing. Look for as many logos as you can as possible. So this one here is SH Figure Arts on the box, and they kind of just write it all over the place. That's how you know. Other than that, when looking at these figures, if you have a collection and you're trying to figure out if yours is even real, if you've already bought it and you're trying to figure out if it's real or fake, just look at the joints because this one, my god, it's just, you can still feel how bad it is. Whereas this one's so much more smooth. So that's another dead giveaway on some of these figures, not just this one in particular. Uh, thank you guys for watching, though. I appreciate it. Uh, go ahead and check out my Instagram, obitobi10, for more figures, uh, more pictures of figures up close. And um, subscribe for more unboxings in the future. I'll be checking out some more SH Figure Arts and some other statues in the future. And uh, like and subscribe this video. And thank you. Have a great day.